In this video, I'm going to show you how we can configure EIGRP passive interface. You know that on the interface that we don't expect to have any neighborship, we can enable EIGRP passive interface for reducing the actually bandwidth usage of that link, CPU usage of the router and some other things that I explained in the EIGRP course. Now I'm going to show you how you can implement it. I configured this scenario R1, R2 and R3 with EIGRP and here only I'm going to show you how you can configure passive interface in EIGRP classic configuration and also in EIGRP named configuration. This is our text file. Step 1, draw the topology in EVNG. Step 2, interface IP address assignment and no shutdown command in router 1, router 2, router 3. Step 3, configure classic EIGRP in R1 and R2. And step 4, uh, configure named EIGRP in router 3. I configured all of these four steps and you have the configuration in this notepad file. And now we want to configure step 5. Configure EIGRP passive interface on R1 ETH00 and also R3 ETH00. You can configure passive interface with two methods in classic configuration. The first method is that you can use passive interface interface name under the router EIGRP. And for example, here you can configure passive interface ETH00. And you know that by default, all interfaces are non-passive. And the second method is that you can configure passive interface default with this command actually you configure all interfaces as passive and then you can disable some of the interfaces from passive mode. Let me to show you both of these two conditions. First, in the router one, this is the router one, in show IP protocols, okay, as you can see here we don't have any passive interface. Let me to uh, show you also the show IP EIGRP interface. Here also we have serial 10 and ETH00 as the EIGRP enabled interfaces. Now let me to configure router EIGRP1 passive interface. The name of interface is for example ETH00. Now this interface is passive interface. Also here when you see show, uh, show IP protocols you can find that now we have a passive interface and that is ETH00 and also show IP EIGRP interface doesn't show the ETH00. Actually show IP EIGRP interface only show the EIGRP inter enabled interfaces that are non-passive. Okay, this is the first method of passive configuration. Let me to remove the previous command, router EIGRP1, no passive interface, actually Ethernet 00. And after that, now in show IP protocols, as you can see, we don't have any passive interface, show IP. EIGRP interface also can show us that both interface now are enabled uh, under the EIGRP and also they they are not passive. Now let me to configure with the second method. For example, router EIGRP1, we, we can use passive interface default. With this command, actually you say all interfaces include serial 10 and ETH00 in router 1 are passive because of that, as you can see now, the neighborship between router 1 and router 2 uh, is down. And here we don't have neighborship do show IP EIGRP neighbors, okay? And you should configure the serial 10 now as the non-passive interface with this command, no passive interface serial 10. Actually, first we configured all interfaces and as passive, and then we removed serial 10 uh, as this list. And this is our configuration. Do show run section router EIGRP uh, can show us that now we have the actually, uh, for example, passive interface default and no passive interface serial 10. If you have many interfaces that they should be passive, maybe this method is better. Pass, pass, passive interface default and some, and some, for example, uh, little interfaces we can configure no passive interface. But in most cases, we use the previous method, a passive interface, then the interface name. And here you can see show IP protocol can show us that we have ETH00 as the passive and also show IP EIGRP interfaces. This is the configuration of passive interface in the router one in classic mode configuration of EIGRP. Then router three. In router three, you know that we are using the actually named configuration. Let me to use router EIGRP, then lab, 
this is the uh, first let me to show you the configuration show running config then section router eigrp this is our configuration router eigrp lab address family ipv4 unicast autonomous system one and then i enabled eigrp on these two interface also you can use show eigrp address family ipv4 interfaces and serial one zero eth zero zero both of them are are eigrp enabled the first method router eigrp uh, for example lab and then address family ipv4 unicast as1 here you can use af interface command af interface eth00 and then passive that's it passive interface and now the eth00 is the is passive interface do show ip protocols can show us that eth00 is passive and uh, let me to remove it no passive interface the second method is that you can use af interface default and then passive interface now actually this command apply to all interfaces because of that now the neighborship is removed let me to go to the actually uh, serial one zero again af interface serial one zero and here you should configure no passive interface now we will have neighborship do show ip protocols as you can see now the passive interface only is eth00 and do show ip EIGRP interface also can show us only the uh, serial 10 is available here. It means that the ETH00 is passive interface. Because of that, now we know how we can configure EIGRP passive interface.